You're listening to the Future Tech Podcast with Richard Jacobs. Future technologies such as artificial intelligence, stem cells, 3D printing, gene editing, Bitcoin, blockchain, the microbiome, quantum computing, virtual reality, and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you've enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Hello, this is Richard Jacobs with the Future Tech Podcast, and I have Wei Shen Lai and Jason Wolf. They're co-founders of Sleep Phones. Website is sleepphones.com, and it's uh, spelled P-H-O-N-E-S, sleepphones.com. So uh, Wei Shen and Jason, thank you for coming. How are you doing? Great to speak with you. Great. Yeah, tell me about uh, what is Sleep Phones? What, is it, what does the product do? So the Sleep Phones actually got started about uh, 11 years ago at this point. I used to be a family doctor, and late at night, I would get, you know, phone calls from patients asking questions and stuff, and it would be hard for me to get back to sleep. And so hmm. Jason suggested that maybe I should listen to some relaxing music, and so which is a great idea. But then, you know, headphones are bulky. You can't sleep on your side, and then the earbuds just dig into my ears and are painful. Unpleasant. And so um, one, one night, you know, he... he got some speakers, we sat down, we uh, soldered some stuff together and tried various uh, soft material to try to make it more comfortable. And eventually we right. hit upon the idea of putting the speakers inside of a headband. And that just, you know, and it stayed on all night that I could listen to the relaxing music and it actually did help me sleep. It, it was just wonderful. They're the very best, most comfortable sleep phone or headphones for anything. Hmm. Is it uh, like earbud style or they cover your ear type earphones? Or what do they look like? So we, we have very, very thin speakers that actually are inside of the headband. Um, and so you barely feel them at all. And you can adjust them inside of the headband. Um, and, you know, we have various versions. You can have a wire coming out the back of your head that you can plug into your phone. Uh, but most people are obviously nowadays are opting for the Bluetooth version. And then um, mm. the, our latest version um, is the effortless, which is Bluetooth, in addition to having wireless charging. And so it's induction charging. All you have to do is, you know, put the headband down on the surface, and then it charges through the fabric. No need to plug anything in anymore. People wouldn't try to keep it on their head and charge it while they sleep, would they? <laughs> I haven't encountered that yet. <laughs> you never know, you know. I have I have two pairs, so using the one, the other is charging. Oh, okay, that's smart. Huh. So uh, w w the uniqueness of this is just that uh, you've been able to get a form factor that's just more comfortable on you know around your head. Absolutely, yeah. I think I think you know that's kind of where we had stood out early on um, when we started the company eleven years ago. At this point, uh, we have the most advanced technology as well, um, in addition to the the form factor. Um, and, you know, I, I think form factor wise, it's probably more comfortable than most of the um, uh, the companies that are probably bigger than us. <laughs> You've probably heard of mm -hmm. some of their newer products that have come out um, and, and play white noise or whatever uh, it is. You know, they're pretty cool, but ours is by far still the most comfortable. And I think that is you know, our, our biggest selling point there. Yeah, we've, we've put a lot of effort to finding just, you know, sourcing the perfect materials and evolving that, that perfect form factor. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. so, so like one, an example of one of the things that we did was um, with our module, um, the, the wireless module that is inside of the headband. Um, it's not just like one hard thing. We, we've um, put it in silicone which has some springiness and some softness to it. And in, in addition to that, um, in order to have like the long battery life that you would need for uh, an overnight, uh, like for a full eight hours of listening to something, um, we 
uh, we had to put a fairly large battery in there. And, and part of that, um, we, we've actually made a bend in that uh, silicone shell. And so then it just kind of molds around your ear. So we've really considered every last thing so that, you know, there, there's nothing that's going to be an impediment to comfort. And it's as thin as possible because I, I, I think to me, like if you're trying to lay on your side, the, the thickness of whatever it is, is just going to push on the ear. So the thinner it is, yeah, yeah, the thinner it is, the better. Yeah, I felt that with, uh, you know, blocking out light. I put like a sock over my eyes and I tuck it under the, uh, you know, the side of my face. But if the sock is not right, the band of it is too thick, then you can feel it and it's hard to sleep. So it makes a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. That's kind of productive. Yeah. So what what was some of the uh, iterations or journey you had to go through? You know, what did it look like early on and what were some of the challenges to comfort that you, you know, you had to fix? I think it was still pretty comfortable early on, but it was far different. And we experimented with uh, different orientations, uh, different thicknesses of fabric. Yeah. Um, you know, actually the first 500 we sewed and soldered ourselves. So on the kitchen table. Yeah. We yeah. had a lot of iterations of uh, finding just the right speakers and the right form factor. Um, you, you bought me my first sewing machine for my birthday. I bought my my highly educated wife a sewing machine for her birthday one year. And then I bought him for his birthday a soldering iron. Which I still use. That's a nice one. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. So we actually made them ourselves, and you know, so we and we bought uh, Joanne fabric uh, fleece whenever it went on sale, and uh, and we sourced you know some speakers from. Mauser and you know it was very much a homegrown kind of thing for the first for the first little bit there. Um, we built our own yeah. website. Yeah, and then eventually, um, you know, when when we kind of outgrew uh, making it ourselves, we started hiring some contractors to help us um, with the sewing component or the soldering component, stuff like that. Um, and then eventually, we moved on to. Uh, uh, some fabric that we source from Polar Tech, uh, which is located in the U.S. And so we thought that, you know, we were doing uh, everything right to try to source everything in the U.S., but it turns out they, they were actually sourcing it from overseas. So, so eventually, um, you know, as we grew in our operations, we, uh, we, we sought to get the best fabric in the world, um, and, and that fabric is made in Taiwan, and so that, that's kind of where we went to, to get our fabric. So, yeah. It's the it's the athletic tech kind of fabric. As time went on, different um, sourcing uh, approaches fit our economies of scale better. Right. Yeah. And then you know it was softer. It was stretchier. Uh, we went down from five sizes in the very beginning uh, to to now three sizes because it, it's just that much stretchier. No, that nobody needs top. that many sizes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's got time. Well, if you, uh, if you, if you spend so much time making this so comfortable, why not offer it on license to people that make headphones for normal daily use? Because it sounds like if they incorporated your system, anyone wearing headphones at all would be a lot more comfortable, you know, earbuds, that kind of thing. So it sounds like you can oh, we go have, a lot further than just sleep, you know? We have our, our run phones line as well. Um, especially in the winter, I wear uh, them almost constantly. They're always attached to my head. Yeah, so it's, right. it's our athletic version. Yeah, people, we we get uh, just wonderful testimonials for the the most amazing array of applications. Oh, so what are some examples that may not be obvious to people? Um, so, so the, I think the more obvious ones would be like for people who have trouble falling asleep, turning their mind off, and so um, you know some of the initial testimonials that came in were about. Um, how, you know, I've been on sleeping pills for 10 years and I've finally been able to come off. And so as a doctor, as a family doctor who used to prescribe sleeping pills like that, that really was one of my biggest motivators. Um, and mm. then another one that we got fairly early on was, um, uh, so it, it's kind of a cute story. There was a, a guy who was kind of skeptical because uh, his wife ordered some sleep foams. And uh, he's like, you know, I snore, but, you know, whatever. I'm told I snore. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, I have no evidence of this. <laughs> so, 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 so the guy, um, you know, was kind of skeptical. And, and then his wife started, once she started using the sleep phone, she started sleeping so well that she started snoring. And then he 
he caught and he's like, oh man, now I need sleep phones. <laughs> and so now mm. they both have sleep phones. And so it was, it was kind of a cute story that way. We save marriages. We, and people specifically said, you know, you saved our right. marriage. Yeah. You know, um, lots of different skill size applications. Well, folks in the military, in, in anywhere you have a shared uh, sleeping environment, we're in a barracks or in a dorm room. Uh, yeah. Um, so well, what's what's um, what, what's uh, making ASMR. people what's making people sleep better? Is it just the um, is it because they block sound, or is it more that uh, you know they're putting it's out a sound that's comforting and puts you to sleep? Yeah, it's more the latter. So I, I don't want to claim that we have noise cancellation because we don't have like the the active noise cancellation. Nor would that necessarily be safe. Right. Yeah. You I mean you want to hear the the fire alarm at night if if it goes off. Um. So, but yeah, we we basically are um, a delivery mechanism for whatever sounds are soothing. Um, and and you know people sell uh, just just all kinds of of different sound technologies for for different conditions and different purposes. And we uh you know we maintain that we're the best delivery mechanism for just about anything you can listen to. Okay, so uh, are there certain sound programs at night that tend to help people fall asleep better than others? Absolutely. I mean, is there a library of them, or like, you know, what do you have? Absolutely. You know, we, we've uh, and we've got various um, content providers we've worked with in the past, and uh, we've started our own initiative now. And I, you know, I've always been curious as to what does work best for what. So we've uh, we've begun our own initiative, which uses uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning to try to, to help us figure out what sound technologies are most effective for, for various applications. And we're, we're not quite ready to talk about it too much yet, but it's coming and I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you would ask about that. Cause that, that was like one of the questions that you, you have on your list, which is, you know, what do you see um, uh, in, in your roadmap six, six months to a year from now? And um, so, so, so yeah, we've got something really, really exciting coming up and, um, we, we plan to launch it via Kickstarter, so you'll probably be hearing back from us when um, when we're ready with that. Um, but yeah, it uses it. It actually um, uh, tries to figure out what is the best yeah, music I, I, for you yeah. to listen to. I, there's so much variety out there. You know, just do a search on the App Store, and there, there's all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, there, there are lots of people asserting things, and I do believe there's value to a great deal of it. But but we want to really you get a better sense. Yeah, we get a get a better sense of what's going on. Right. And we're going to leverage well, our. What, what, what's in the library right now of sounds? You know that. What does it come with? Is you know, or is it you just get to hook it up and play music through a music player? Like, what is the does the headband have anything on board, or is it just pure headphones? It, they are pure headphones. Um, so unlike some of the other ones that have like built in white noise and stuff like that, ours. Uh, our our pure headphones right now, um, except for one model. One of our models, uh, the Sleep Phone Simple, uh, we designed because there are some people that still don't have smartphones, don't ever want to have smartphones. Don't want to mess with it. Yeah. Don't want to. Yeah, they don't know how to program a playlist. They don't even know what that is. Um, and so, uh, for those people, uh, we we have 17 different tracks. And those are pre-programmed in, and we, we call it the simple because all you have to do is press one button. It's all on your head. Okay. That's the tagline. Okay. Yeah, we, we've got a, a few tracks on there. You know, I think uh, primarily we're using uh, binaural beats in that in that context. Yeah. yeah. We, we've always what tried about, to remain... uh, What about heat and coolness? Does this make anyone's uh, ears or heads hot? You know, like, I don't like, I like earbuds. I don't like the headphones that cover your ears for, you know, for instance, because my ears get hot oh. and sweaty. Nobody likes earbud. But uh, we, we do have uh, various fabrics. Uh, and oddly enough, I find that I sleep with the very thickest. And I don't think it bothers me very much. What, what do you have to say about that? I, yeah, to me, uh, I, I'm not bothered by the heat. I, I'm always one of those people who, who are cold. Um, so I, I kind of like the, the softness of the thicker fabric. But for a lot of people who live in, warmer environments or just tend to sleep hot we do have a uh the it's actually the same material we use for our run phones um so our athletic version it wicks away sweat and it just kind of uh helps keep you dry which also keeps you cool at the same time because it, it just you know once the sweat evaporates it, it keeps you cool and for many people living in very hot areas they've got heavy duty air conditioning anyway so they once again aren't bothered by it. Yeah. yeah. Is there any need to 
turn this into like an eye mask slash earphone. You know, if you put on the headband just a little lower on your head, it could really, you know, it, I know it's not Absolutely. made for that, but you could do that. But uh, any plans to do that? Oh, many of our, our uh, customers use it that way. They, they already do that. Yeah, we tell them to size down mm. if they really like the, the, the eye mask type of concept. And so then it, because the, uh, the I guess the circumference of your head is slightly different when you angle it differently. And so we just tell them to size down one. Yeah, and this also looks like something you can combine into like a winter hat, you know, uh, for certain climates. I mean, if you had a hat made with certain slits in it where you can take in and put, you know, take in and put out the headphones and uh, you can slip them into a hat or make it a hat that you wear. You wouldn't have to worry about carrying any extra equipment for earphones. We are, we're very uh, popular in Canada. I, uh, I assume it's because they want something to put over their ears. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, I mean, we live like pretty close to Canada. We're, we're in Erie. So uh, yeah, we just got like three inches and nobody bats an eye, you know. <laughs> I think I think these last two weeks we've lived near the Arctic as far as I can tell. Oh, the polar vortex, huh? It's, it's been surprisingly right. windy, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so what are the, you said there's now three sizes instead of five. So what are, are the sizes just called small, medium, large, or do they have like some other names of them? Yeah, just, yeah, just small, medium, large. Okay, and have you found that most people's heads – will fit the three sizes? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Um, so before we called it small, medium, and large, we actually called it uh, the extra small, one size fits most, and extra large. But that just got really confusing because everybody wants to assume small, medium, and large. So we decided to just kind of get back to the basics. Um, but, but really, the medium is a one size fits most. It will fit 90% of people's heads. And then the small really is for, you know, smaller heads. And then the large is really for, um, you know, big and tall people who have plenty of hair. It, it seems that, that people overestimate how far in one direction or other their, their head is. Sometimes, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, I don't know if anyone wants to think of their head as big unless uh, they assume that they have a lot of brains <laughs> in their head. But It's like Sputnik. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Well, very good. So uh, what, what's ahead for the next uh, year or so? What can you say about what you're working on? We say it's going to be cool. It's going to be cool. It won't be long now. We're very close. We're, we're really we're formulating our PR strategy, how we're going to roll it out. You know, we're we're uh, you know, coming to the end of our alpha testing, you know, mm-hmm. probably very close to beta testing right now. Uh, it's going to be cool. All right. You, all right so what, what you're looking at right now is uh, customized music or sound or binaural beats, whatever it is, to help people fall asleep faster? Is that the current goal? It, so so we're branching out from hardware into more software. Uh, you know, a, mm. a, a content platform to uh, complement our existing hardware. You know, in, in the past, we, we've always been, we've considered ourselves very agnostic toward what people listen to. Right. Uh, and, and now we're going to find out what really works. And there's, there's a plethora of different uh, sound technologies that are purported to have some affect you know this is supposed to uh to, to induce some states and and we're going to find out what we're going to find out what does what okay well very good um what's the best way for people to find out more just go to sleepphones.com or is there another way for to reach out that's better yeah yeah definitely uh the, if if, uh, if you're interested in buying some sleep phones just go to sleepphones.com that's s-l-e-e-p-p-h-o-n-e-s so two p's in the middle dot com yeah website the center of our world yeah <laughs> okay well very good well thanks for coming on the podcast i appreciate it very much sure thank you for having us you're listening to the future tech podcast with richard jacobs future technologies such as artificial intelligence stem cells 3d printing gene editing bitcoin blockchain the microbiome quantum computing virtual reality and exploring space are much closer than you might think. In fact, many early versions of these technologies are in play right now, and the companies that are using these technologies are the focus of this podcast. My goal for you, the listener, is to learn from these podcasts. You may very well learn something that may change the course of your life for the better, steer you towards a new career, or give you insight into addressing a thorny medical problem. Remember, this podcast and its content is informational in nature only. No medical, tax, legal, financial, or psychological advice is being given. If you've enjoyed the podcast, please listen, subscribe, like, and tell your friends about it. Thank you.